This is cute. Wait, why the fuck you got an old deuce? An old English on a cold 45 though. It's hood. It's popping. It's popping out here. Got this cracked chicken. Oh, you want to buy some cracked chicken? Straight out of Newark. No, how do you say Newark? It ain't from Newark. How do you say it though? Newark. No, I ain't from Jersey. You ain't from um, Jersey? Nah. Where the fuck you from? I'm from Long Island. So how they say it? What y'all talk don't. proper? We don't. We don't say it at all. What y'all talk proper? We don't say that at all. We don't. We never said that. I didn't even know Newark existed until I moved to Jersey. So where you lived in the suburbs over there? Mm-hmm. I lived in the suburbs. So what the fuck you come over here for then? To another suburb. I didn't move to Newark. Tap the bottom. I ain't, I don't, tap the bottle though, tap the bottle though. I don't need to tap, tap the bottle. For what? I ain't never drunk no goddamn because Coke 45. It's, because it's your birthday and because it's episode 10 of Disturbingly Random, tap this bottle. Tap no, that bottle. You know how to do this? Ain't no tap no bottle. To, tap the bottle. So you so, we celebrate my birthday with beer? Coke 45. I don't think I want to celebrate with no beer. Well, I'm turning the glass sideways though. Yeah, now you're trying to be etiquette with the, Should have drank oh, for the bubbles. the bottle. Out the bottle. Yeah, why you drink out the bottle? I'm trying to stay true to the glass. We don't finally reach the pinnacle yeah. without compromising the principles. Life good, overseas, different interviews. Back then, you could do it for the family. We don't finally reach the pinnacle yeah. without hey, compromising the principles. Episode 10. We did it. We did a season. That's what people call it. Oh, that's what they call it. Yeah, that's what they call it. At least on TV. Yeah, we really got Code 45 on Old English. Old you got my honey no. butter. Oh, why Old English come in plastic bottles now? Crazy. So that's not real Old English. Though. It is. And it's not a 40 ounce. They try to make it. Try it's to not a 40 ounce, say 42 ounce. So you step that thing up. It's the only two ounces is the uh, extra plastic on the top. Probably so. That's dumb. Yo, um, welcome back. Yeah, um, welcome back. Hey, y'all. I miss y'all. And the interim, it was your birthday. Yes. Oh, I had a beautiful time. They say don't ever ask the female, ask the female her birthday. You mean the age? Yeah. No, like no, we're not doing that. So don't do that? No. But guess what I did do? I went to iFly. Ah, That's what's up. I and I went to Top Golf. That's what's up. Oh, yeah, you was there with me for Top Golf. Mm -hmm. You was an asshole because you thought you knew how to play golf. I'm Tiger Woods. Sure. I'm like, I'm drinking off the bottle too from here on. I feel stupid drinking um. You look stupid liquor. drinking a damn beer, a forty ounce. They don't even do that shit no more. Why you just ain't getting deuces? The deuce deuce joints? Yeah. Tall big bottle. Or the can. And then you gotta get two. You should have went. You should have did the can. Can. Threw it way back. Huh. All right. One bite, two bites. Hold up, and then we gonna get started. You know, when you eat that crack shit, you can't just eat two and let it go. Got some more hood stuff. I need butter chips. That's not her. That's my favorite, but that's not her. Well, hold on, one more bite, and then we're gonna kill us. You might as well eat the whole goddamn chicken. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. mm -mm. Eat like it's from down Wait, south. Wait, you eating on TV? Mm-mm. Where's the internet? Still, Ain't goddamn, nobody. somebody watching us. Ain't nobody, that's right. Ain't nobody paying for this. How you know? This is ours. But you ain't supposed to be... Etiquette. You said you came from the suburbs. Y'all didn't do that. I know, but I was always placing myself in the hood, so this is what I learned from y'all. Don't say no fucking y'all. This is what I, I did. I learned this from y'all. You didn't learn nothing from me because I'm a lady. Okay. And I don't do stuff like I that. Some, I know some chicks in the hood. Well, I'm a lady. And they, and they, they did that. Well, I'm a classy lady. I don't do you that. You should see the way chicks in the hood eat the bone, eat the meat off of a chicken bone. Do you eat all the meat off of a chicken bone? No, I don't. You don't? No, I don't. Keep it a buck. What? Do you eat, keep it a buck? They say that in your hood. What the hell is a buck? Keep it a hundred. They say keep it real. Oh, that's old. So let's get back to this. Do When you eat chicken, do you clean the bone totally? No, I don't. You leave some on there? Yes, I do. All right, because my mother hate when I didn't leave chicken on the bone. She hate that. She so, hate when you ate all of it off? No, I never did. I stopped eating when I see a vein. And she wants you to eat it? She said eat everything. Eat the gristle and everything. Wow. And everything. That was a time that I was supposed to say and everything. No. Eat the gristle and everything. No, everything. I have to I have to say that. Oh shit, you got your little arms get a little tight there. Let me find oh, out. Oh, I look like a little I look like I like Pudgy the Fat Bastard on one of these episodes, maybe two, three episodes. So that's ago. why you started working out? I'm about to. Oh about shit, to. oh shit, oh shit. Why you got the camouflage hat on? There's a war out there. Oh okay. jungle. Here we go with this war shit again. It is, it's a jungle. Group. I thought you were trying to match my shirt. That ain't camouflage? You got the colors. 
You don't even know what the hell to do. You have it down to whole forty. Your stomach's gonna be for big tomorrow. <laughs> you gonna have to piss. <laughs> you have it down to whole forty? No. 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 Back in the days, that was a cool thing to do. All right, so let's get to this. All right, um, I don't even know how the hell to get away from certain topics. You got cars like that. I don't even know how to get away from certain yeah. topics. That's gray hair. Stop. Come on. Yo, I don't even know how to get away from certain topics. Oh, I know where you're going with this one. Oh, I know. I already know. But. Oh, boy. Should we. Want to talk about it now or later? Get it, talk about it and get it out of the way, please. Fuck is up with Jesse Smollett. What's up with Jesse Smollett, man? Yo. Yo. And I'm listen, just trying to understand it. Because you always, every week you say. I don't want to talk about that no more. Let's just move on to another topic. Every time I say, like, there's something wrong with that story. Every time I tried to bring it up, I said, there's something wrong with that story. Something crazy. I think Jesse Ryan, all of this stuff. You said, let's move on to another topic. Because you don't like to talk about people. Because you think, like, one day you're going to bump into them in Hollywood and you're going to need to be their friend. I just wanted, I just didn't want to believe that he did that. Why? Why didn't you want to believe Because I just, I just didn't want to believe it. Mm -hmm. But now to see that he admit that he did that shit, he got a he got some yeah, information. Oh, so. oh, that's definitely it. Cause why would you do that to yourself? Well, well, you pay somebody to beat you the fuck up. I think that I think that nowadays you ain't even gotta pay nobody to beat you the fuck up. You got enemies out there that would have beat you the fuck up for free. True, true. You got friends would beat you up for free and anything just because it's something that you probably said to them like hit me. All right, but I think that. But Jesse, what made them guys who did it think they was going to get away with that, though? Ah, they, they secondary. That whole thing is secondary. Them, those guys, I don't even care nothing about them. I so can't do you think they're going to blackball Jesse now? Yes. They should. But I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. And I'm going to tell you why it's going to happen. What's going to happen is... Yeah, yeah, I'm going to tell you. Give me some... Have some patience right here. But what's going to happen is... Jesse's going to... I to deal with you. I know. So exhibit some of that. Here's, here's your exercise right now. Jesse... Jesse's gonna. Be, I got you burp. <laughs> what Jesse's gonna do is Jesse's gonna um, he's gonna claim mental health issues. He's gonna claim drug issues. He's gonna go to rehab for a year. So he's not. Gonna do drugs, right? He's gonna say that he was he was doing drugs, and I think there was a story that they said that there was drug. He was getting drugs from the African guys. So he's gonna say he had drug issues and mental health issues. He's gonna say both. He's gonna go into rehab. He's gonna stay in rehab for like a year. Right? And come back out. He's gonna come back out. And redeem himself. He's gonna redeem himself. He's gonna drop that album. Because he's, he's a rapper. He's a singer rapper. He's gonna do an album. He's gonna sing about all of those issues and things that happen. I'm gonna give you all of the answers. He's gonna go platinum. Everybody's gonna buy the records. Everybody's gonna buy the first single and all of that. He's gonna be successful. He's gonna come back on the show on Empire if it's still on TV by then. Right? And Jesse's gonna be forgiven by the black community. You know why? Wow. The same reason why the black community and everything forgives Steve Harvey. What? Steve Harvey dis dismoney. He dismoney. And I'm going to get back to Jesse in a minute. But he dismoney and he said some wild stuff on TV saying like um, he's more he, he's more in tune with the money than he is about his integrity. And then we saw he got backlash. Then he followed up and tried to say, hey, um, I, I, I misspoke. Everybody always misspeaking. You know what I mean? Everybody always, nobody takes accountability for what they said and just say, I, I said it and that's just what it is. But in a black community, what we do is we allow so many of our celebrities to say whatever they want to say and we accept them back in. We allow anybody, whether they're our celebrities or whether they're white celebrity or black, black celebrity or whatever. We just, we accept so much. We, we always excuse it from them. Yeah. Somebody say sorry, we with it. You know what I mean? It could be the same, man. Hey, listen. It could be the same man who cracked the whip on your back and everything, and you got a whip that shows what he did to you. And black people still be like this. All right, well, you are, right, as long as you say sorry. Sorry. So what you think we supposed to just... Uh, Want somebody to do you wrong, and they, you got to say, hey, um, you know, um, maybe you wasn't so sorry. You know what I'm saying? If you, if you consciously did something, then that's so not a mistake. So do you believe in forgiving and moving on? I believe in forgiveness and moving on and anything, but... You just don't fuck with them after that. All right, just move on. You ain't got to forgive nobody. I'm not forgiving nothing. I'm like, yo, if you did something wrong to me, I, I'm thinking like this. You know, were you asleep when you did it? Were you sleepwalking? Were you under the duress of drugs? You know what I'm saying? Um, did I see you take the drugs? 
Are you lying and saying you was on drugs? I really think that we prop up our celebrities too high. And I think that if we gave the same lane to people in relationships, mm -hmm. then um, we wouldn't be so hard on the people in relationships. We would, we would like, kind of, maybe relationships would last a little longer. You know what I mean? Because a female slammed the door on a dude's face. I don't know what dudes would do to females, but I'm just saying, a female would slam the door on the dude's face for one mistake that he make. He might tell her a lie. He might, hell, he might cheat on her. Not your glass no, is crooked. Maybe my face is crooked right now. Maybe you're looking at my head. But let's talk back, let's get back to this. But he might cheat on her. And anything, right? But as a celebrity, you do something, the same equivalent. And you will let him keep coming back, keep coming back, keep coming back. And they say, well, I'm not in a relationship with him. He's not coming in the house and getting in my bed, whatever like that. But he is taking your money and your attention and your time for his entertainment. You spend time to watch him. You spend time, you spend energy, you spend, uh, uh, you, you invest your emotions. Like everybody's investing emotions in Jesse Smollett. Everybody invests time and energy and anything and watching TV shows that these guys are on, that these people want. Because you try to support your own kind. Okay, so support the, your, your kind is the guy you're in a relationship with, too. Support him. If you make a mistake, then why don't you just accept that and say, like, all right, listen. I don't have a guy, so you can't. I'm just saying if. I'm just saying, you know, um, um, hypothetically speak. Okay. If you had a guy. Okay. Support him, too. Accept him. If he, was, if he made a mistake. Then he had done that. So why he's not, you're not still with him? Because how many times I got to keep letting slide? How many times you going to keep letting Jesse and Steve I slide? didn't, what? Steve been sliding? Steve been sliding. Because that don't have nothing to do with me. Oh, see, just like I said. Just like I said. So you willing to invest your time and your emotion in Steve. How am I investing my time and emotion in him? You never watch none of his shows, none of his movies? You never read his books? Yeah, I've got his books. Didn't take time? Did I take time Did it what? take time to read it? I ain't read it yet. So you just got the book. I just buy the books to support people. So you supported him. So you invested your money in your support. Because I was on the wave like everybody else. So he's on the wave. Get on the wave with the relationship. Can't do that because I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't work. that ain't right, that ain't working right with me. I gotta yeah, get myself yeah, together. But you know what, Doug? Let's you know, not talk, why do you always want to talk about like, me in a relationship? But you just, you, you just like, you just like the majority of, of women. Women are like that. Don't say I'm the majority, I'm by myself. I said you're just like, I didn't say you were with No, me. I'm not. I said, okay. I'm yeah. in the class all, and I'm, like, I'm in my own lane. Okay. So at what point do you cancel? Cancel what? Do you cancel celebrity? I just move on, don't think at about it. At what point? Did you, did you cancel Jesse yet? I just, what you mean cancel him? Did you cancel? Is he done? You done with him? I just, Later for what everybody else said, are you done with him? That's a serious situation right there. It's like, whew. I just, he just need to get some help. You done with Steve yet? You don't know why you would be done with Steve, right? What's you done with him about what? You don't think he should help Mo He should have been helped Monique instead of trying to say like, all right, I made a mistake. I should have helped you. I should have called you a long time ago. But what he called her for? She was on his show. Did you see that yet? No. Did you? Okay. I'll let you see it first. Okay. Maybe we come back in the next season. Anything <laughs> we'll talk about that. Okay. But in the meantime, a lot of people so didn't watch it. Why didn't you tell me to watch it then? Because you should be up on this stuff. You come in here every week. Because that means I'm not, some things don't but catch my attention. Like some things people, don't catch Everything should catch your attention because you got to report to them. You got to tell them. They don't know what to watch. I don't all, they know what to watch. They might not. They That's don't. why they're watching you. They're trying to figure out what's the right thing to watch. They want to know what your disposition is. Yeah, because I ain't see that. I've been trying to do other things. I'm trying to make some moves right now. All right. I'm focusing right well, now. Well, while she's trying to make moves, I'm focusing. I'm gonna keep you. I'm gonna keep you all up to date on things. Yeah, that, that's your job. So I should sit here by myself, you say? It wouldn't be. It wouldn't be right if I ain't. Okay. So R. Kelly's locked up. Oh, I heard about that one. Did you see the memes they posted? With yeah, the guy that. from uh, the Patriots, the owner of the Patriots, then it's R. Kelly, then it's Jesse. So some meek help help us. Oh yeah, so the one about uh, the, the Robert Kraft from the Patriots, mm -hmm. the owner of the Patriots, With about me got to get him out. Yeah, I saw that. Mm -mm. He's an old man. He's supposed to. He's supposed to do all that. What? How do you figure that? What else is he supposed to do? And why would you agree? Because he white? Is he said no? Because he old. So you give him a pass? To be to go and solicit prostitution? Yes. So you give him a pass because he old? Yeah. So if it was anybody else you give him a pass to? If you're old, yes. He know they know right from wrong. I didn't say he's but what made it wrong? 
He didn't turn somebody into a prostitute. He went to a prostitute and solicited sex. They just caught him on tape. He was buying and she was selling. He ain't, he not married? You're not his wife. So let's get out of that. I don't if know, that man is selling for him, I, let's say yes. Let's just say yes. Just for, I, I don't even know. But let's just say yes for the sake of the argument. But my thing is, why did you get us a prostitute? You, you this famous. You gonna tell me why your boys can't just get the bitch for, I mean, ooh, excuse me, get the woman for you? But that's a prostitute too. That's a, it's a call no, girl. Yeah, get a call girl. But that's a prostitute. Well, that's a different name. It's the same thing. It's a different name. See, you know, but I'm just saying though, if you were gonna go about that way, why wouldn't you just have one of your close friends do that for you? Well, Matter of fact, get one of their friends. Maybe his close friend. Maybe. One of his close friends' friends. But I'm pretty sure. He's trying to disconnect the whole situation from Just him. like, all right, you got a boy. Mm -hmm. You could hook me up one of your boys. Mm -hmm. So, one of his boys could have hooked me up one of his, his, his women friends. So, Why do you have to go about and do it like that? Maybe his boy hooked them up. And with they, the they won the game? And they won the Super Bowl? Yeah, time out. Maybe his boy hooked them up with the girl to go see at the place. Maybe he said, yo, they're supposed to come to him. Maybe she did once before. I mean, How he get busted then? But maybe once, maybe he was like, Yo, you know what, I'm going to go and meet her. And then after that, I'll start having her come see me. And who's, she ratted him out? Who knows? I don't know. I think, I don't How know. did they come out then? The camera, they, somebody was videotaping in there. I think they got some pictures or video or whatever. But however it happened, however he got caught, I don't blame a 72, 74-year-old man for going out looking for a female to please him. I don't blame him. You old. That's no excuse. His wife, if she the same age as him, what you think she's supposed to be doing? So you telling me if you, if the, if, so when you get 77 years old, you want to do the same thing, you're supposed to be forgiven? At 74 years old. Answer the question. I'm going to answer it right now. At 74 years old, if my 74-year-old wife and anything, or if we both old as hell and anything, and she ain't getting it popping and anything, she ain't, you know what I'm saying, twerking, you know what I'm saying, and anything all over me or whatever. At that age, then she she probably gonna be like, hey, you no, know no, no, no. Answer the goddamn question. Don't yeah. put it on she. Yeah, she it's yeah. you. Yes. So yeah. you gonna go out and get you a youngin? At seventy five years. I hope she cut your dick off. <laughs> I hope she cut. I'm it just off. saying, but because you are condoning what he doing. I'm I'm approving it. I didn't condone it. I didn't say, hey, you know what you should do to him. I'm just saying, yeah, well, I you, approve it. Okay, you put your stamp of approval on it. I approve it. I approve it. Was that predatory behavior what he did? I gotta Google that. All right, because I got to Google that, too. Not about your don't, don't start but asking I, me stuff when I'm... I can't think right now. I'm on a cloud of happiness right now. You, you want me to start... And no, because now you want me to Google shit, and then that take away time because that calls for thinking, and I'm not in the mood to think right now. I'm going to Google predatory behavior, too. You know why? Why? Because I don't think that people are using it the right way. You know what I mean? It's like... Predatory behavior? Yeah, predatory it's behavior. Like, like, because I think that people like to use... Use terms. I think people like to use terms because um, it's, it's like the it's like the hashtag for, um, for the day or for the week or for the time or whatever. Um, let's say you shouldn't use on camera, but I keep doing it. But spare predatory. Why don't you just say it? Erase that and hit the hit the mic. My mic sound nice, check. What's you know, see, I don't even see a mic. All right, there. Pick the mic. Predatorial behavior. That's what an animal. You gonna you gonna read you gonna look for the uh, the dictionary. Okay. Okay. Predatory person. What is a predatory person? Go. A sexual predator is a person seen as obtaining or trying to obtain sexual contact with another person in a metaphorical what's that word? Metaphorical? Yeah. Predatory or abusive manner. Mm-hmm. Okay. So we're gonna go with that. So with that being said It says in um the house it predator hurts down hunts down its prey so the sexual predator is thought to hunt. For his or her sex partners. Okay. So that's not. Okay. So okay. wait. Okay. But we said. No, you said the predatory relationship. No, I didn't say that. I said what you just read. That's, I said, a, you, that's a predatory person, but I'm talking predatory um, behavior. So is the person. So the behavior is the person who exhibits that, right there, who does those things. So, my point is this. 
My point is this. Um, so are you saying it's okay that he? No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying is he a pre- did he exhibit predatorial behavior when he went into the rest of um in this place that he was you know where he paid for this hooker or whatever? Yeah. How? If that's what she we was just read up, it. If that's what she was giving up, there's no hunt. If that's what the person, maybe she was hunting for him. So maybe she's the predator. That's your story. You sticking to it? No, I'm just trying to make sense out of. No, why are you trying to save him? No, I'm not trying to save him. I'm just. Trying you ain't to saving Jesse. I'm you tr- ain't saving R. Kelly. But you sense. gonna save him? No, I'm, I'm confused. About to, I'm about to get to R. Kelly too now. I'm about to get to R. Kelly too. Because a lot of people say that R. Kelly exhibits predatorial behavior, and because he's hunting down people, young or girls, or young girls, or whatever. You already got your own chips, right? You open them though, right? All right. So. Mm-mm-mm. You make me eat, make me drink. And so it is. Damn, that's a lot of chips at once. You just don't. I'm not. Why are you worrying about what I'm doing? Okay. Um. So if if those parents brought those kids over to R. Kelly or sacrificed those kids to R. Kelly because they thought they was gonna become stars, is he still a predator? I think the parents should be held accountable for that. So why would you take your child, your young minor, mm-hmm. to this grown ass man house? True. That doesn't make sense to me. Mm-hmm. And then you're gonna leave her for what? Mm-hmm. Exactly. That's like a setup. My point. That's like trafficking. My point. My point. Um, I'm gonna get off all that though. You know, I ain't mean to even start off the show with all that, but that was crazy. I had to get into it. Go ahead. Let's say, congratulations, Cardi. Did you watch the Grammys? No, yeah, the Grammys was two weeks ago. We on the Oscars tonight. Tonight's the Oscars. You didn't do a she show. She didn't get an Oscar. We didn't do a show last week. Your fault. She didn't do an. She didn't get an Oscar. Yeah, let's just say it was. Let's just let's, let's ride on that. So you only want to know? No, hell no. All right, but look. No. Look. Hold no. Up. Let me finish. I don't want you to finish. Tonight is the Oscars. I don't care. Is she gonna get an Oscar? You think? Mm-hmm. She ain't getting a lot. What happened? She ain't did nothing to be an Oscar. She ain't been in no movie. Her music could have been in the movie. She ain't, no, you know, she ain't get no Oscar. You don't know that. I bet she won't. Has her, has her music been in the movie? Mm-hmm. You follow her. You follow mm-hmm. her career. Everybody think that Claudia is, the, is like the, the voice for all. Please me, baby. Won't you turn that around and tease That song is trash, though. No, don't no, you do it. Don't you dare. That's don't trash. you dare. That song is trash. Don't you dare. That song is trash. Funny. Why? Because I don't roll with everything that Cardi mm-hmm. do. Just because everything that Cardi doing the move. Mm-hmm. Y'all gotta stop doing that. Y'all gotta stop. Y'all gotta stop. I like you. I know you do. Okay. Because Cardi speaks for you. Cardi speaks for all the women and anything who don't know how to speak. The fuck you mean? She she took she got like heart. That's all. Cardi can't talk. She just got heart. The fuck you mean she can't talk? She can't. I don't understand half of what Cardi's talking about. Listen, when your ears out, listen. I did. I did. I don't understand half of her raps. Cardi for the culture. (laughs) That's not the culture. I'm sorry, her baby is the culture. That's it. Cardi for the culture. No. You gonna stop, stop bigging up um these assholes and start bigging up some real um people, okay? But what makes her real? Because I don't care. You bigging up this old ass man. Yeah, you did. You defended him. Trying, you defended him. 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 Fuck him. <laughs> he, he helped get Meek out. Who? Oh. He did the old nigga. He ain't help get no fucking yes, Meek out. You think Jay Z did it by himself? Yeah. It was just Jay. Don't do that. <laughs> it was just Jay. That's a fight right here. Don't you ever? Jay don't you? Man. Don't you Jay ever? Rap, Jay rap for guys like me. So I'm just saying, don't fuck with Jay. Now, that's when you cross the line. Because yeah. everybody know how I feel about him. Don't you ever. Protect Jay don't at all costs? What? How about Puff? Yeah. You protect Puff at all costs? Right there. I like Did you shit. protect, do you protect Puff at all costs? I said Jay-Z. I'm asking you. Don't what? ask me nothing about, if it ain't pertaining to Jay-Z, don't ask me about do it. Do you speak anything past one? Two. <laughs> so, I'm trying to ask you. Do you protect Puff too? I said Jay-Z. Are you scared of my questions? No, I don't feel like answering your questions all the time because your questions be stupid sometimes and I don't want to be bothered with that dumb shit. But it's the I same. said I like Jay-Z. So why the hell would you put Puff in the same question as Jay-Z? I said Jay-Z, right? I love Puff. I All right, so he's doing, doing a good same. job raising his girls. He's doing a great job. He's been he's on excellent. his. He's been on his black excellence. And he's single. He he's been on his black excellence longer than Jay been on his black push. Okay. So I'm asking you. Do you protect Puff at all costs the same way you feel about protecting Jay? Yes or no? Simple. I I got some some love for him. Some love. Cause Puff don't love me. Jay loves you. Oh yeah. Okay. You don't I'm, know. <laughs> 
laughing at? Ask you something. So back back in the days, back in the days when um when um uh, you're funny. Back in the days when guys used to when, when matter of fact, I ain't even asked about guys. Back in the days when when girls used to like guys who was like bow legged or like he was like uh, dark skinned or light skinned with curly hair or whatever like that. Like, how long did that get in glass? Like, when did you stop liking the dude? Or what did he have to do to make you just cancel him out and be be like, you know what, F him. He's whack. What did he have to do? Country, be country. Be country? Mm -hmm. But you knew he's country when you met him. No, 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 no. Why you always want to ask me shit like this? You just want to see what my reaction, what I'm going to say. I'm just saying, because one depends on time. Let me see. Time, I got it. Because I got you. Want, who want me to go back in the day? Let me see. Yeah. I'm going to drink my 40. What was that back then? Bow legged guys. Y'all used to love bow legged guys. Nah, nah, nah. It was the dark skinned ones, and then it was uh, the light skinned one, like the special ed guys with the curly hair. I was winning then. I was winning. Oh, I was winning. I was winning. I was light skinned with curly hair. I was. They thought I was out be sure. What? They thought I was out be sure. They did. That was when crack was going on, right? Yeah. So they was on crack, so they ain't know nothing about it. Well, maybe it was the crack case of all some crack shoes, but I'll tell you. Sure. Yeah, maybe so. Sure. Crossing the two together. Hey, but. It's like saying you was genuine. No, I wasn't genuine. On the pony. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, so. I'll be sure too, wasn't it? No. Mm. I'll be sure. That was just like, well, who else was light skinned version? Um, Chico DeBarge. Nah. James Chico, Jackson. Chico husband. came out while I was born. No, that ain't, that ain't James Jackson's husband. She could watch is not. But let's get to this. One of the I, barge. Listen, I, you didn't like the barge. I said one of the the, the barges. Oh, he wasn't even in the group, Chico. What about John B? Who was he? John B is a white boy. What are you talking about? That's still so what? That was still. So like... he no. Look, we when, still when liked him. When y'all started liking, when y'all started liking John B, that's because y'all wanted to reason. So like was John you out with Cisco and all was out, or you was in? No, was... I was a, I was I was in school, and they came, but um. Your no. ass was not in no goddamn school when Cisco was out. I was in college, I'm talking about. Um, but listen, oh, hell but when, no. You don't say college. I'm but when, listen, when John B. came out, anything, the only reason why um, what, black girls like John Cameron B. Cameron says so. No, I'm not. No, you really are. No, I'm really not. What you think? you caramel? Yeah. What you, that's what you think. You're caramel, right? Yeah. Look at you or look at me. Yo. You're not even toasted like me. You know what I'm saying? You like white, for real. You damn near white. You like you like a white person with a tan, and that's cool. That's if that's what you are and anything. But stop thinking that you stop thinking you dark skinned. You not. I'm. I was like Tyrese, I, damn near me. Me, nigga. You know damn well you ain't nowhere near in the black ass Tyrese color. All right, I'm like genuine then. I'm like Tank. Me and Tank. No. Me Tank and genuine. Hell no. Same. No. All right. What not? You like a more chestnut color. A Mars chestnut? Mars no, chestnut. hell no, that's hell. brown. He black as all hell. Yo, listen, I'm gonna tell you something. No, no, it was dope though. No, it was dope though. I'm gonna get back to the. I'm gonna get back to y'all women. No, it was dope. Back when women, like, and I'm gonna tell you what dudes should do. We should be in for dudes. Dudes should be like, yo, she got cheeky eyes, and they not you. You don't have cheeky eyes. Look, the way I don't know if guys like. I don't know. Yeah, they like them with the dimples. Yeah, I think that was a, that was a big deal for a little while. That's why they still be making them stupid faces when they take pictures because they think dimples in again. Um, see that face? <laughs> that was the face. That was the face. Do you do that on when you take pictures and post on Instagram? Do you do that face? Yes, you do. I gotta look. I'm looking at you. <laughs> Yo, that was how you flirt. That's how you flirt. No, that's how you flirt. No, I be trying to. You be sending pictures. No, I be trying to. No, I be trying to do the bedroom eyes. Everybody say the sexy eyes, and I be like, I can't get that shit down right. You right. You can't. Hey, but you, hold up, cause you just tried to do it just now, and I ain't feel like I was in the bedroom at all. I didn't. It wasn't for you, motherfucker. That was like garage. That was garage pit. Garage eyes. Do it again. Do it again. Oh, do, you. do your bedroom eyes. Yeah. That's garage eyes. Hey, but hold up. But that was how you flirt. When you be on Instagram, right? When you take pictures and you post them. <laughs> when you take pictures and post them. Hey, do you stand pigeon toes? Hell no. Remember that was it. That was being pigeon toes. Pigeon toes girls there. No. You remember, you remember, you used to no. stand pigeon toes no. back in high school. I was bow-legged. Oh, you bow-legged. Bow-legged bow -legged was dope. Bow-legged. Because when a girl was bow-legged, everything that meant like, yo, she easy. That's what dudes thought. You, that's your theory. I'm 
I was a dude. I was a kid. I was a boy back in the days. And That's what you're trying to say. I was a terror back in. It don't mean to say back in shit. I was a terror since the public school era. I was. But listen, we used to see girls who was bow legged, and we was like, hey, yo, you get that. Yo, she bow legged. She ride you. That's what we used to say. So let me ask you a question. So what was your preference? Dark skinned girls or light skinned girls? Both. You so slick with your mouth, you gonna really cover up your shit because I'm saying both. Yeah. You didn't know you had a preference. I did. Yes, you did. I actually know what my preference was long hair. That was it. I don't share long hair. Every girlfriend I had when I was a kid had long hair. They had to have long hair? I had to have long hair. Was it, it had to be good hair or nappy hair or perm? <laughs> I ain't know nothing about a perm and I ain't like. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what's long nappy hair look like? <laughs> well, shit. When you, I used to have to get my hair straight with a straight comb. Long nappy hair? Oh. My shit used to be thick. My hair used to be thick. My aunt used to do that shit with the straightening comb to straighten it out to the roots. <laughs> and then I went to New York to visit my aunt. She said, I'm tired of straightening this shit. She gave me a relax, a perm. A perm. And I had soft and beautiful. And, uh, well, she was straight. And then I sweated out. That shit started napping up. And, oh, got to get another perm. Got to go get a relaxer. And, and soft then, and beautiful. And ever since then, you know what it is, huh? And then now, I don't even need none of that shit. Uh, Look at that. You outgrew the nap. You outgrew the nap. Ain't that crazy? That's crazy. But yeah, uh, they just had to have long hair. I don't think my hair was really nappy. It was just thick. It was thick. That's a, that's a girl's nappy. Because my family got good hair. It's just mine was just thick. Yo, and I used to like when girls just say that my family got good hair. <laughs> yo, I used to love that. My family got, I'm, yo, I'm half Indian. Or whatever. I used to love that. But that was the move. Yeah. Girls, who, girls whose family had good hair. And they had and they had long hair. That was that was what I used to like. And then you know, as you got older, you just start saying, ah, "Oh, she's a girl." <laughs> yeah, that's what you say when you get older. No, she a girl. Yeah, I think prison did that to me though. That shit did a lot to you. I, th I think it did. I think it made. I would love for you to go get some help. But I know that's you don't need help because I think that's when you start seeing the equality in people. You start to realize that everybody's just the same. Maybe you should do some prison time. Hell no. Why? Don't ever do that. Don't ever curse me like that. Why would I? Why would you even say that to me? That's not See, a this curse. is what. That's not a curse. That's why not. the fuck would I want to do prison time? That's like therapy. Why would I want to do prison time? I got too much going on. I even want to sit behind a motherfucking bar until somebody tell me when to go to sleep. Get your head the way. No, I don't need that. I don't need you that. Don't I don't so. want that. Yeah. No. Next topic. Huh? Don't you ever fucking come at me and tell me about no goddamn prison stay? That's like you telling me I need to be having a girlfriend. Well, you just put that thought out there. I ain't put that thought out there with the shit. If I'm gonna be locked up that far, what else I'm supposed to do? Alright, I'm gonna drink. I'm gonna drink my glass of that. Let me ask you a question. Is there such thing as uh, cheating and not being dumb about it? Mm, cheating and not being what? Dumb. What do you mean? Cheating and not being not being dumb about it. I don't get it. Give me, give me, give me an example. You cheat and don't be dumb and get caught. Explain. You, what do you mean, like, like you cheat and you get caught, or you cheat and you don't get caught? Both. I don't understand your question. Can somebody cheat mm -hmm. and not be dumb about it? Do the stupid shit to get caught. Well, if they getting, if they doing stupid shit and they got caught and they think, then they are being dumb about it. So that's what I said. It's such thing as cheating and not being dumb. Oh, cheating and getting away with it. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Ask the person who's getting away with it. I'm asking you as a man. I guess. But at some point... You I all of a sudden now when... when, when I ask, no, 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 when somebody asks you a question, you always want to skip. You want to tap dance and no, skip it's over. Not tap dance. Yeah, answer the question like you always tell me. Let's be truthful. Let's be honest. Can a man be? Can a, a man, man cheat and get over and not get caught? Yeah. I guess so. Yeah. Why would? Oh, now all of a sudden you guess so. Let me ask a question like that. Oh, oh, now you want to guess so? But you that's know. Just like, that's just like that's no, just like if I ask you. No, no, no. Just let's be keep it real. You gangster with it. You hood <laughs> with it. You've been locked up about it. Talk about it. I ain't been locked up for cheating and getting away with it. I'm just saying. You, as a man, you always want to talk about the man things and you yeah. want to defend everybody. So let's talk about it. Let's I'm get sure, about it. Let's sure, get real I'm, about it. All right. I'm sure a man can okay. cheat and get away with it. Can a woman? Yeah. Okay. That was simple. 
No, but let's you, you act like that was a deep discussion. It, cause it, that wasn't deep. I want to I want to take it deep. But how can you get deep with that? How you just can a man cheat and get and not get caught? Yeah. Can a woman cheat and not get caught? Yeah. So what okay. makes okay? So when a woman cheats with a man who's married, right, and have a side piece, how does that work? If a woman cheats with if a another, man, if a man cheats, he's married uh -huh. and he got a side piece, and he got a side piece, and he cheats. Uh huh. How does that work? He cheat. He's married. He cheats with a side piece. Mm -hmm. That's how it works. You're not asking me nothing. You mean how does it work? How does it work? Yeah. So mm -hmm. does the side piece? So you, in other words, you're trying to tell me don't ask you this because you don't know. But, but you know no, everything no. else. But when I need questions because I'm trying to figure shit out, you can't help me. I'm trying. So to... what the hell is the purpose of you? Ha don't ever help me about nothing else if you can't help me in questions I'm asking you about. You understand me? Okay, but I'm trying to. I, I guarantee nobody out there can't help. I you bet you they. I bet you they know I what I'm talking you, about. I bet, I bet you, you they know what I'm talking about. Because you're not asking a question. I asked you a question. You're asking a simple question. I asked you a question. And then the and answer you're just is trying to, you're trying to avoid it. You're trying to tap dance around it. You said, how does he go about it? Um, he does it. I, I, I guarantee you, if I flip that no, around, I, you can't give me an answer either. Let's see. If a woman is married and she has a dude on the side, mm -hmm. how does she go about it? Easy. How? What do you mean how? She see? make time and find time. Okay, so what's the what's the big long discussion in that? I'm asking because I want to see a man's point of view. That's it. Easy. You just find time. Or Don't ask time. me nothing else. <laughs> You didn't. But you don't want me to answer. So from sick. now on, when you want to get into the discussion about, mm -hmm. oh, what type of man would you date? Or I don't what think you're asking you the right question. You heard whether you, uh, okay, well, if you know what I'm trying to ask, no, I don't think figure I, it out no, and answer I, for I, me. But I can't answer what you're not asking. You know what I'm trying to get at, but you, you should refuse to want to answer the question. What, you don't want to incriminate yourself? How can I incriminate myself? Well, then answer the goddamn questions. How can but a man cheat and get away with it? But you're not asking. How can a man cheat and get away with it? Alright, you're on the same topic too long and anything, and it's uh, like getting boring. And they, they next, like, next. But you're not you know, saying nothing. Next question. See, this, you just you made know, my head itch. But you know what? Next see, question. See, what's up on your paper? No, this is. I don't want to no, talk about it. You this said it's boring. Next. This is why I, I leave. This about. is why I try to leave. I try to be the A mic. And I'm the B mic. Yeah, you're the B mic. Like the side A and side B. Next. But this is try. So go, so go ahead. Cause it's I, I gonna come out on next episode. No, no, let's get it out on this episode. No, because we because I don't right. I don't even know if people they, they listen if they don't get the answers that they're looking for they might not tune in. So I want to. Oh, hear, they're gonna tune in. So I want they want to know what the hell is going on. I might not tune in. I want to hear this. I, I want to hear this now. I want to hear like exactly what are you? Why trying do to, a man cheat? Why do a man cheat? That's what you're saying. That's why, your, that's your question. Why do a man cheat? Is that your question? Why do a man cheat? Okay, that's numerous reasons now. Now, okay. that, if you was asking that, okay. now I can answer that. Uh -huh. Numerous reasons. A dude, a dude might cheat because maybe he's greedy and he wants to take me too, as y'all call it. Mm -hmm. um, maybe because he don't love the female anymore. So why not just tell her that and just leave her alone? Wait a minute. You asked me why. I'm giving you all the reasons first and then you can go to home. And that's what leads me to my questions, what I asked you earlier. Okay, so why don't he just you know, leave her alone? Mm -hmm. uh, maybe he don't want to hurt her. So he don't but play. you don't think that's hurting her doing that to it her? It could. It probably. It, it could. It could. It definitely could. That's mentally hurting her. Because um, if she find out, like, what the hell? Mm -hmm. Go right. ahead. What's another one of your reasons why they cheat? Um, maybe they got kids together, and he don't want to break up the family or break up the home. So you gonna stay with her and don't want her just to save the kid? But that's making her more. And I'm going. I'm going. Bait. I'm just going strictly off of things that I've seen. You know what I'm saying? So I gotta go for that. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's strange how things you've seen, you never experienced it. I mean, I've experienced different, you know, different issues. And so why did you ever cheat? Um, probably didn't like it no more. Um, probably uh, yeah, most I didn't like it no more. Uh, well, probably uh, because um, the lack of support in a relationship. Um, probably because it was a lot of nagging. And anything going on, I really wanted out, and she didn't want to give me the the land to get out. So I was like, all right, whatever. Um, those are my reasons. I do the coward reasons, the coward way out. Well, those are my reasons. So now that I'm older and grown, if I don't want to be bothered, fuck you. I don't want to be bothered. How are you anymore. gonna say it? How are you gonna do it? I don't want to be fucking bothered no more. Okay. Why? This is boring, and I'm not interested. But you know why, dudes? You know why it's hard for dudes to do that? Cause they try to spare our no, no, dudes don't try to spare. You know what it is? Let me tell you why dudes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna break this down to you. 
the reason why dudes don't just say, you know what, F you, I'm out, is because the door that the exit is always harder for a guy because females gonna go through the whole rigmarole of trying to get online, talk shit about you, they're gonna go and tell they're gonna do all types of stuff to try to slow your name and all this. No. If he's done with you and you okay with him being done and you ready to leave too, and you like, yo, well F you then, then say F you then and go your way. You know what I mean? It's like dudes be trying to and, and, and it's like it, it's so much so much that a dude gotta carry afterwards. It's like, cool, she, a female got to carry things, too, when, you know, if you cheat on her and anything or whatever. But if a dude want to say, like, yo, I'm done with you or whatever, females put so much on the guy. You okay, but if you're going to say you're done, so why not just give your reason why? At least give closure. Okay, so we're going to walk through this now. Let's walk through this. <laughs> All right, me and you, we're going to play the parts. Okay. And then the guy say, hey, um, hey I'm, I'm, I'm done. I ain't really trying to be with you no more. Why? Uh, it's just not working out. I don't really feel it here no more. Okay, can you explain to me why? So at least I know what part that made you come to this decision so I know how to fix it so it won't happen in the next relationship. Um, you're not being as supportive as you, know, as you used to be. Do you think you were? I try to be. How? Because if you were, then maybe I would have been. Okay, well, I guess that we really can't see eye to eye on things, so I'm just going to go. Okay, so that's how, that's how it is. Yeah. Okay, so then it should be no hard feelings. Okay. So you go your way, I go my way, we mm -hmm. see each other. If I choose it, do I want to mm -hmm. speak, I speak. If not, then I'm not. All right. Beautiful. That's beautiful. But the reality is, things don't go like that. Oh, because she gets on let's do it. She's no, like no, this. No, now let's do it another way. Do it again. Let's do it again. Hey, um, this ain't working out no more. Why? Yeah, uh, because I'm just, I'm just not feeling it no more. What the fuck? You got a new bitch or something? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Maybe I do. This bitch ain't better than me. Exactly. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm going to go. I'm going to grab my stuff. You know what? Go ahead. Go ahead, you little dick motherfucker. Yep. You wasn't worth shit any motherfucking way. Meanwhile, she's doing all of that online, putting all of that stuff online. And now I understand why women her. do that. Well, now you know why it's so hard for you. You answered your own question. Get the hell out of here. That's not my you question. Answered your own no, question. No, no, you I answered answer. it. No, I did not. You answered it. No, why would you say how come a guy just don't come straight out and say it? And that's why. I, I just want you to be honest with me so I know if it was something I did, I can rectify and fix it so when I go move on to my next relationship, I know how to move into this and don't come in with the same dumb shit I did. Mm -hmm. That's my question. Just okay. if, if, it's, if that's how you feel, I got to respect that. Mm -hmm. I can't make you, you be with me if you don't want to be with me. That's the way it should be. But that's not the way it is. Nowadays, everybody got to... Because women, we, are, we wear our heart on our sleeves. Y'all just don't you know, give a you, fuck. But you know what's going to happen? You know what's going to what? end up happening? Because women wear their hearts on their sleeves and they eat and, and then they put their feelings and their fingertips and everything when they start texting and putting stuff up and posting all of that stuff like that. And you want to know what's going to end up happening? Women ain't going to be in relationships with guys no more. Y'all just going to have each other to be in relationships. With. That's what's going on now. But and it's, it's going to be like totally, Y'all have, have relationships totally. with each other too. And maybe so. And maybe that's what guys going to do. They're going to be like this, yo, you know what? Dudes know how to, you know what I'm saying? They know how to hold it down. A man know how to relate to another man and a woman exactly. know how to relate to another exactly. woman. But that's, that's not what, what it was. It was it's Adam not supposed to be. It's Adam and Eve. Man, woman, woman, man. Exactly. Mm. Not man, man, woman, woman. I, I understand that, but I'm just saying. But I ain't got gonna, gonna, I, no, I don't. But that's what I'm I don't. Gonna, it's okay if that's what y'all want to do, but I like a man. But I'm just saying, that's what's going, that's what ends up happening. You know what I mean? Like, a guy would love to be, like, listen, a lot of things don't last forever. Point blank. A lot of things don't last forever. And if it comes to that point where certain, something that you thought was going to last forever, it doesn't. And it happens to be the guy that's leaving. Or it happens to be the female. Because nowadays, guys are sensitive as well. So, if one party says that it's over and they're trying to leave the relationship, and the other party, they don't want to allow them to walk out that door because or they try to make it such a hard thing or task to do to walk out the door mm -hmm. but why but why but why and they stand in front of the door and then when they leave they talking junk about them and they calling them names online and they got all of their friends hating them and they telling lies about so them let me ask like you that. something then that's that's when it becomes a problem when you okay so now what if you done did all this broke it off well you got on much that separate ways you thought the grass was green on the other side and you realize, yeah, I miss her, I want her back. Mm -hmm. 
What would make you want to go back? You just said it. You realize that the grass is green on the other side. So that's what makes you want to go back? Come back. And then, so, but then, you come back, but you just told me you didn't bother me because I nag and I'm all this, I'm all of that. Maybe, maybe the person who was nag, who you went to, they nag even more. But you should have thought about that before you left. How could you think about it if you never met the person who you, um, Okay, then you should have never left. But you never know what you're going to meet. So I'm supposed to accept your ass back at you? No, 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 you're not supposed to. You're not, you don't have to. There's no rule that says you have to. You're right. So you just got to say no. I just got to, I just got to think with men who feel like they can just do you or treat you the way they want to treat you. Like, well, just because a man feels that way doesn't mean that you have to accept it. And allow it. Exactly. I have accepted on a lot, a lot of shit in my life. Exactly. Exactly. Maybe I wonder, is it because my father wasn't in my life to help me? I mean, to teach me about me. I mean, sometimes that's the issue. Sometimes. Or some things but, that went on in my life that caused me to be like this and felt like I needed a man and I wanted a man when I really didn't need or want a man. I mean, that could be the, that could be an issue. Because now I don't give a fuck. Damn. She going on. She gave y'all the tea. She gave y'all the tea. What, they got the tea? Called the tea? No, that's gossip, right? That's the tea. That's the tea, but this ain't gossip. You mm. giving them the B.I. You giving them the business. Yeah, because I'm tired of it. You tired of it? Hmm. I'm I'm gonna be something. You talking to I'm... somebody? Hold on, you telling somebody so all the all the love time. Time out. I know you talk to somebody not all this somebody. time. Yo, I'm main man, you, if you watch, <laughs> if you watch I'm man, question, I'm asking because no, I, I want to know. Now, now I know. Now I get it. So for the past what 10, 15 minutes, you've been going off on somebody out there. And you trying to get to the bottom of something? You mad as hell about something, huh? <laughs> that ain't gonna get it. <laughs> he gonna get. It. You gonna get online. You gonna talk about it. You gonna post up some memes and anything <laughs> like them posted memes where it just be words and you be really. Why would I want to put my business out on forefront for what? I don't know because that's what girls do when they break well, up with a guy. mad at a guy. Stop putting me in that category. I don't have nothing to do with that. And whatever I'm going through with a man, mm-hmm. I don't need to post that shit on social media. What the hell they need to know? What to judge me and criticize me? That's none of their motherfucking business. They okay. can't help me. All right, so let me. Ask you. Right, so, right. so so is it different? So so let me ask you this. Tap you, tap, you already tapped it, damn it. Tap it. No, I don't want to. Listen, so is it different? Is it different? I smell like more. Oh my god, man. It smells like that shit. All right, but listen. I'm asking you a question. All right? So. Lean the glass to the butt. So, so is it different? All right, all right, I don't want that much. I really had one. What so the hell? So is it different? Can you just listen? I'm all listening. Come on, jeez, man. Um, I could do two things at one time. You can't, but. um. So is it different if a female has one condom or... You never answered the question. So how are you going to ask me a question and you answer the question? I asked you, how do you feel about a woman? You come in contact with it had condoms. I didn't get to finish asking my line of question at first. Well, you you want to see what I got to say before you can answer it? Yes. No. I'll be asking. I have, I have more questions to ask. Go ahead. Um, get the mic and just ask me and then hold it to me and let me answer. Then you go back to your guy. So is it different... Is there a difference if the woman's carrying one condom or many condoms? Suppose she's carrying like a row of five. What about it? Is it any different? Why well, should it be any different? Because one could pop. At least you, you so carry. She got five. Okay, she got five. Mm-hmm. One could pop. You got mm-hmm. four left. You bust that nut. That's two. You might want to roll over. That's three. Mm-hmm. The morning four. Goodbye five. So what's the problem? So. Five. So you really think like some dude and anything is really trying to go through four joints, four condoms and anything on you? I don't the want to be bothered with you for if a dude just smashing a chick, he ain't trying to go through four condoms. So what he just gonna just get one nut and hit maybe, move it? Maybe two. Bye. I don't want that. Y'all be move. thinking that y'all look, y'all be th- listen, know this? Know this? But then how okay, so he so don't like not- you so much. He don't like you that much. He trying to get he trying to get you going and he trying to get going and anything too. Or whatever like that after it's over. He got stuff to do. He can't chill with you before condoms. You don't fuck with me. Alright. But that's what they're going to do. Dudes is going to be like, alright. Dude not going through four condoms. I'm going to go be with a woman. You see? You see how? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But you said, yo, I'm, you're not doing that. I'm lying. No, but I'm just telling you. You're like, yeah. What fuck you got me drinking this for? Oh, English 800. Really and I really drunk this shit like a, cr- a crackhead. Uh, crackheads don't drink. Uh, what do they drink? Saint Ives? No, Mad Dog Twenty Twenty. They just smoke crack. 
Hey, so listen. So back to your question. So if you said, what would I say? Yeah. If she had one or many. Mm-hmm. Which, uh, if she had one, mm -hmm. I'd be like, yo, she protect herself. That's what's up. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Good looking. Mm -hmm. Um, if she had many, mm -hmm. I'd be like, oh, she's a thought. She out here just getting it in. She always ready. But what if she it might pop? What if you got one so and then pop? What happened? Now she got four. Okay. She's a thought. She always got them joints. Better safe than sorry, don't you think? Because then, if no, not, and stop it busts, and else. then you get her pregnant, then you're going to say, it mm. ain't mine. Because I mean, she stop off at different places, so she got to always have She got to stop off at different places? She got four. She, I mean, she got five. Okay. One bust. When, when you buy them, how many do it come? Why well, you got to carry them all with you? Because you think you're going to need them all? Nigga, I just explained it to you. What do you carry in your pocketbook and anything that you that you uh might use and anything go to that? What do you carry? What's your man? I carry the wipes to wipe my vagina. How I many? carry potpourri. How many? Every time I go to the bathroom, I gotta wipe my shit. How many wipes do you carry? About let me see, how many times do I go to the bathroom? Maybe about five or six. Why well, you don't carry twenty? Because I don't piss twenty times, I don't pee twenty times. There's my point right there. There's my point. That is not the same. There's my point. That's not the same. There's my That's point. That's not the same. You carry, not you, you carry what you need. Exactly. Why is she carrying So you tell me you're going to have sex and it's only going to be one time and that's it? You get one nut and then you just, that's it? You're going to live over his house? No, you're not listening to me. Why is she providing a condom for the, um, for the sex? At least she knows she... She should carry one. Maybe two. Maybe two. I'm just saying. I'm guaranteeing people to say people say the same thing. No. They will. Cause he might not have at least you got him. Yeah. One or two. Next. I'm just saying. Next. So um <laughs> you gonna watch the Oscars tonight? I don't know. <laughs> I had to call you back down. <laughs> I had to bring you back down. I know see I know how to bring you back down. Talk about some shit you don't know nothing about because you don't know nothing about the Oscars. I know that. Black Panther better get one. Ooh, Black Panther. Um. Mm -hmm. Well, I think that's about it. Oh, ain't got no more. We that we covered everything. I think so. How do you flirt with a guy? What do you do? If you if you like a guy, you see a guy you like. Man, you know, you want to ask me questions. When I ask your ass questions, you tiptoe tap this. I bat my eyelashes. I bat my eyelashes. When you want to flirt with a girl. Mm -hmm. Butterfly? Mm-hmm. Get your ass out of here. Well, how you, how you flirt? I don't flirt. How do you flirt? I don't flirt. Why I gotta flirt? You, 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 ever, you ever been with a guy? I got two fucking kids. What you think? How did you flirt to get your um, kid father? I ain't flirt. He just came and grabbed you and then took you and you was like, right, I'm, your boy, I'm your girlfriend? No, I got with my daughter father because I thought he looked like Jay-Z. I saw him going for Daisy. Yes, it do. Alright. Alright, so. In my head. <laughs> In your head. Your daughter even said you don't like Daisy. She does. She, she want Meek Mills to be her father. Alright, don't say that. Don't say that no more. I'm going to edit this. I'm going to chop this. I'm going to chop this tape back again. <laughs> Three, two, one, back. Alright, um. Alright, um. Yeah, <laughs> no, all right. She like blue. All right, stop twice. But um, listen. She don't look like blue ivory. Listen. So I look like Beyonce. So, so how do you flirt? Man, how do you flirt? Like what do you do? If I see somebody I like, and I'm a, if I'm at a bar, do you walk past them a couple of times? No, I'll look at them, see if I get eye contact. If <laughs> I get eye contact, I, I, you do the better much. No, I don't do no fucking bedroom. Garage eyes. Garage, garage, garage eyes. That's not garage eyes. No. Alright, so what do you do? You give him, give him the eye contact. If he look like, so what do you look back? He look back at you like, like you got the old English, he got the cool 45 in his hand. Like, I definitely ain't talking to him. Why? Cool 45? I don't do that. Billy D. Williams should drink this one. That's okay. This is back, that's back in the day. I don't even know why you got me drinking this dumb shit now anyway. You drink up old English? English? I don't want this, I'm online. O.E. I'm classy. But you're drinking it out of, um... Out That's of the, the fuck the problem. It's supposed to have a beer glass. There's a glass with everything you drink. You drink anything out of a... Uh, no, the hell I do not. Room. Don't say I drink anything and out of... And a disturbingly random glass, you can drink anything you want out of that. Anything you want. 
And if you had that in a bar and you met a guy, that's flirting. That's flirting in itself. Just having that glass. That's stupid. No, it's not. It he was like, you, you walk around with your own glass? You was like, yeah. He was like, what the kind, what kind of shit is that? Yeah. Then, I, then, that, then that was going to trigger me off and say, what the fuck you mean? So that's why I'm working on myself. I'm going to etiquette school. I'm going to acting school. I'm about to cut I'm this I'm going to cooking school. <laughs> and I'm going to bartender school. You're going to do a lot. And by the time next season starts, I'm going to have a lot to talk about and I'm going to be a whole new lady. You're going to be in the apron on the season? On the episodes, you can have an apron on here. That's only for the bedroom. <laughs> Nothing under the apron. I'm, I'm the middle. With, with five condoms in the front pocket. <laughs> Yo. One of the crack of my ass, then. <laughs> I'm done. Damn you. I'm done. With hey. KY Jelly. <laughs> with KY Jelly. Yo, you ever been with KY Jelly before? Mm? Alright, done. Alright, I right, stop, stop, stop. I was joking. You don't don't tell me. me. Don't tell me no more. Hey, um. So you want to ask me if I got toys too? No. We out. Let me <laughs> tell you about that story though. Somebody had broken to my house, right? And me and my kids came home. My son went to open the door. The door fell on the floor. Mm-hmm. So they just, they took like my son laptop and stuff like that, and they came in my room. Mm-hmm. Fucked me up because in my room they had my skates. The roller skates. Yeah, my roller skates on my bed. Mm-hmm. With my dildo sticking out of it. I didn't want them no more because you touched them. So why would you do that? Why would you do it? I ain't doing it. Don't say, why would you do it? Why to my house, why would they do that? Tell them. Ask them that. Why did you torch my toys? That was private. Who the fuck told you to go through my drawers? Why would they put them in your roller skates? Is that a That's message? what I'm trying to say. They want them to roll out? Roll out. <laughs> Hi. Um. I could use it. Because I don't know if they used it. My no. thing is, you done stole my shit, so but why are you fucking with my toys? True. They could have left me some money and they tell me to go buy some new ones. True. Oh, uh, why would they do that if they broke into my house, all right? Yep. Yeah. All right. So that wraps it up. Happy um, birthday to me. Can I play my song, please? Play it. Play Ready? Play your song before we go. All right. That wraps it up. Birthday. Why? Why are you looking for that song? That's the hood song. That's the hood. Hey, 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 hey. Hey man, episode 10, that's a wrap. Um, just wanted to say we out of here. Thanks for tuning in. Um, shout out to everybody who's been watching. Um, whether you're watching on YouTube or you listen to it on Anchor. Happy birthday to me. Whether you uh, listen to it on Spotify. To me. Hey. We out. February. March. You gotta do that, the dance, little man here. Oh, 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 work it, work it out, work it out. Ah! Oh! 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 Oh!